Instagram have family members or you yourself lying under the AB60? According to La Cooperativa Assembly Bill 60 was um, passed by the state legislature in September 2013. It is, it is undocumented, undocumented workers' first opportunity to obtain a California driver's license. I am credible to speak about this because I myself have created 10 appointments for family members and friends. Um, the, the importance of the AB60 is to give is to give um, no worries to the, to the people that drive without a license without having precaution of saying, oh, my car will be taken away if the car stops and the police stop me or something. Um, first, I will talk about, first I will talk about the different types of driver's licenses, then I will talk about the process of, for obtaining the license, and then finally I will talk about the benefits. Uh, there are different types of driver's license. There is class A, class B, class C driver's license. Um, and there are there is also motorcycle licenses. Class class A licenses is for those taking notes. Okay. Um, the different types of driver's license depends on the work vehicle, the type of work vehicle or the vehicle you use on your day to day basis. Um, class A vehicles is depending if you use, um, if you tow a, a truck that weighs over 10,000 pounds, then you will most likely have a driver's license, a class A driver's license. If, if the car weighs less than 10,000 pounds, then you will more likely get a driver, uh, class B license. If you are in between the age of 15 and 18, and you're obtaining a license, you will more likely get a driver's license. And then if you you if you go and take a test with a regular small car, like a hybrid or something like that, you will more likely also get a class C driver's license. If you're if you are between the ages of 15 and under 17 and a half, you will have to show completion of the school driver's license, the school the school driving test. Um, if you're between 17 and a half and under 18, you, you don't have to show com completion of the driving school. You just have to show up with authorization of your, your parent's signature. If you are 17 and a half and, and pass the driving test, you cannot, take, you cannot come back and take the driving test until you have until you have six months with the with the permit, or if you turn eighteen before, then you may get the driver's license. Um, I just talked about the different types of driver's licenses. Now I will move on to about the process. According to the magazine Quinceanera.com, you need to have proof of identification and um, California residence. So you need a you need to show if you have a Mexican counselor ID, you have to show that or a passport, and then you also have to show tax files and a utility bill to to say you're a resident of California. Um, also, I read an opinion that you could have the counselor here this between 2006 and 2014. Um, first, you will need to make an appointment online in the DMV. The only thing that is required is your name and your and your phone number. When 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 you have your appointment set, then you have to go. You have to show a uh, proof of it. I did this. Blah, blah, blah. And then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm more identification and proof of residency and. And then when you do, if you pass your written test, then you will have, you will get your thumbprint and then you will have your picture taken. And then I suggest the like, big suggestion for you guys is to make the appointment there, because if you guys if you guys make the appointment online, you guys you guys can. So because I did it for a friend, she was asking me to help her out with making an appointment, and I stood online for online for four hours, and they wouldn't answer your call. I would just say this will take two or more hours. I suggest for you guys to make the appointment there. Uh, now that I explained the 
the process. Right now, it's like a different. Oh. Okay, if you pass the written test, then you have to you have to call or just make the appointment there, and then you have to come back and take the driving test. You have to go to to the line, and then you have to show someone that has, that is eighteen that has a valid California driver's license can only go with you. You have to show proof of registration and insurance of your car, and then you go and take your. And if you pass your license, you find your fifteen mistakes, then you will be able. Okay, now that I explained the process, by now we'll talk, we'll talk about the benefits. The benefits is that uh, your your car won't be easily taken away like before. Many people, like my mother, she would drive with precaution because she was scared that the police probably would may stop her and take away her car. But now, now that she has it, um, it, it doesn't. It, she she doesn't have to worry about that. And then, um. Uh, oh, according to LA Times, they were saying that that the the driver's license would be fraud for would be a fraud for the for voting, but it's not a fraud because the difference is that they have a they have a printing that says federal limit supply, so they won't be easily be able to go. They won't easily be able to go in and take a a fraud into the to the voting because they have that. And now, finally, uh, now I just talked about the benefits. Now, finally, to take it over the uh, it is an importance for drivers. To, uh, it's important for for undocumented immigrants to to obtain a driver's license. And I just talked about the benefits, the type of licenses, and type of licenses, and it's in the process. And then the only thing is that they don't have to be scared anymore to drive.